So I have my niece here. Um, she's going to show me how to make a pom-pom just using your hand. And she's uh, very creative, so I wanted her to do a little video. Okay, um, let me just start wrapping mm -hmm. the yarn around your fingers. The more fingers you use, um, the bigger the pom-pom. Okay. Um, so you just keep on. Have you ever wrapped um, all five fingers? Um, no. <laughs> just four. Just four? Okay. It would be too hard to... Yeah. So, my niece made a ton of pom-poms like when she was going through her pom-pom phase. And one day she threw them out and I was horrified. I said, how could you throw those out? I love them. And so I kept them and now I have them hanging in my room at my house. And so I, I always look at them every day and I think I wanna learn how to make those. And I know she says it's simple, but she's going to uh, show us here today. So right there. And then take it off. Slide it off. Your fingers. And where did you learn how to do this again? Um, it's like a just a small class at school. What kind of class was it? What was it called? Um, the thing is that it's like my old school. I did like these things called like clusters. Uh huh. And um, it's just like where you have time to do things that you want. Like arts and crafts. Yeah, they're like small little clubs. Uh huh. That's you cool. get to choose which one you want to so be. So you guys did pottery in there before, right? Um, no, that was an actual class. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, she's kind enough to get out of her bed and come up, <laughs> come up and visit me and show me how to do this. Because I, I got some yarn at a thrift store and I'm really excited to make pom-poms. So now she's going to tie the string through the whole thing that she wrapped that she pulled off her fingers and she's going to knot it which we did already in the previous video but we had some interruptions so now we're just going to and I cut all the loops that were made cut the loops and we're using my uh, Teresa Collins scissors I got from Joann's which are a little too small and not as sharp as these Tim Holtz scissors. I mean, chop right through it, right? Pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Craft where you make like a little baby chick with like making pom poms like this. But I just wanted a little bit of a refresher because I haven't done it in a while. I'm just get my. So now she's gonna what? Just shaping it. Cutting around it to make yeah. it even. Yeah. Is this relaxing you? Um, yeah. She's very creative. She's a cake decorator. She's a cake baker. She makes paper flowers. She's a, an incredible artist. She has a real gift. And if you could see some of her drawings, they're just very beautiful drawings that she makes. She's very talented. And I hope that she pursues it as she gets older. Maybe goes to art school or something like that. My grades aren't the best for that. That's okay. We're just trying to get the basic gist. So if you add more yarn to this pom-pom. Yeah, the more forward it's going to be. Exactly. Thanks, honey. I appreciate it.